There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up Divas? It's your girl April. So today's video is going to be how I hang out my backdrop. So it's really easy. Um, I will tell you guys this. They do have backdrops that you can purchase on Amazon and also Rose Gal. But on Rose Gal, they're not called backdrops. They're called wall tapestry. So I actually don't use per se the actual backdrops that are made for making videos or taking photography I don't use those because for one you have to roll them up they're made of vinyl so you constantly have to roll them up when you're finished using them so that's one thing that I don't like to do is have to just take everything apart and put everything back together um, and also those do cost a little bit more opposed to you know and also the storage on those is a lot different they also do have backdrop um, systems if you have a room that's separate and you're just going to do use that room for youtube then that's great you can just actually leave the vinyl backdrops up you can also leave the actual backdrop stand up if that's what you choose to but being that i don't have like an extra room i decided to just do away with my actual vinyl backdrops and also the backdrop stands so the backdrop stands that you get they are long poles and they do have the pole across now they do get to be a little bit overwhelming because like i said if you don't have a room that you can just use or designate it for like doing video or photography then it's going to get in the way so I decided to stop using those and just use something that's a little bit more conventional and I can easily like put it in my closet what I use now is the wall tapestries you can get those from Amazon you can get them from eBay or you can also go like on Rose Gal Rose Wholesale or what have you I like to get them all from Rose Gal because for one they're a lot cheaper and they do have different sizes if I didn't want the backdrops to be hanging up anymore in my room I can easily fold them and put them in a box with the vinyl ones, you cannot fold them because they do get wrinkles in their vinyl. So you'd have to roll them. You'd have to have like a designated area to store them. What I hang my backdrops on is a clothes rack, a clothing rack, and I bought it from Walmart for $15. The clothing rack um, is an adjustable pole on the top, so you can actually open these up right here and you can pull them out and they extend and they extend on both sides. What I use to hang up my backdrops is shower curtain hooks. These shower curtain hooks are from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think you get like 12 in a pack and they're just the metal ones. If you use the plastic ring ones, when you wanna flip them over, it makes it a little bit harder because they're really wide and you don't want the holes to be too big. So I would definitely suggest getting these right here from the Dollar Tree. And if you can't find them at the Dollar Tree, I have seen them at Walmart. They do have a collapse. So you wanna get the ones that have the opening and close on them. You can use a small pair of scissors to make the holes, or you can just basically puncture the fabric with these as well. And I also do use a steamer. This is a lot easier than using an iron because I don't have to actually lay the fabric down. I use this so I can actually steam any bit of wrinkles. Like there are no wrinkles, but it'll be like a couple of creases. And you want to make sure that the backdrop is just like smooth. So you definitely want to make sure you steam it out. You can also buy these clamps. These are, um, I don't know what you call these, but these are the clamps. You can get these from the Dollar Tree also. These also come in, ha as in handy as well. Uh, and I like to get backdrops that don't have too much going on. I don't want people um, designs on my backdrop because sometimes you might cut them off. So I try to get something that is like floral or something like with fences or brick or just greenery. Something like realistic like that. So that way when you do see the backdrop, nothing is cut off and if something is cut off like a couple of flowers it's not really that noticeable also this is the one thing that i've learned certain colors of backdrops really don't work well with certain lighting so if you get like say something that has a lot of blue in it then you're going to definitely have to change the settings in your camera i've had that issue so those backdrops i don't even use i like to use ones that have like that are very colorful or like pink or just something plain if you want to get something that's just a plain color i haven't seen any 
backdrops are basically wall tapestries a plain color but you can use like a bedroom sheet or you can buy fabric as well just make sure that it's wide enough going across and just long enough going downwards some of these are a little bit shorter as in width so what I do is the jar the, the actual pole is adjustable so when it's a shorter one because I do have ones that are shorter like this one right here the black one behind the brick one is a lot shorter in width than this one um, and this pole is still not long enough so I was definitely I was actually gonna go buy a new one that has longer extended um, poles but they're like $40 and I really didn't want to spend anything so this is what I'm going to use this is what I'm going to use for I do have these two metal poles these were actually from my first backdrop kit 80 by 59 inches so this is 80 inches across and I do like it to be as wide as possible because I don't really like to sit too close in sometimes and then if I have my daughter in the video then you know we do need a little bit more space so I don't want to be too cluttered in the video so I'm gonna just use these for now I'm gonna change the poles out real quick and these poles actually come out because you do have to assemble it so they just come out and I'm gonna just slip these in because this will work perfectly I mean you can get any type of pole you know, you might have something old laying around the house that you don't use. So you want to make sure that the pole, if you are deciding to just extend it more, you can either get a longer rod and those you're not going to find at Walmart. You can get those on Amazon. And there are some that are like, you know, $45 that I've seen that have extended poles, which is it's a good investment as well, but I really don't feel like buying another one. So I'm just going to utilize what I have. And sometimes I take these, these little orange clips right here and I'll just put it so that way it doesn't move. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we're going to hang up, we're gonna hang up the next one and this is gonna be this one right here. See, this one is not as wide. I'll take my scissor. want to do first what you can do is open up your hooks I'm just gonna open the hooks up so I'm gonna turn them around and these ones are like I said the metal ones are much easier and then the tops are up here the openings are up here so I just leave them open until I'm finished hanging all of my backdrops up that will make your arms tired okay so make sure you put it in water you don't want to actually put this to the fabric because it might burn it so just want to steam it This one is 51 inches by 59 inches. So these are the smaller ones. If you get the 59 by 51 inches, then this pole will be fine without any type of extra poles. You can just use it at its fullest um, length and 59 by 51 will be perfect. So this one is the 71 inch by 71 inch, which is great because if you want to take pictures, you'll have a longer length, okay? Well, don't let go, girl. Where are you going? You're supposed to be my helper. You own me stuff, don't you? Okay, so. Alright, I'm
All right, guys, so I'm done. I did have two other ones that I had for like a minute that I just didn't know if I wanted to use them or not, but I just figured while I'm at it, I might as well just go ahead and put these up too. So these are much smaller. So this is just super easy. All you gotta do is flip it over like so. And there you have it. You just flip it over and just pull it down the back and it'll be just fine. And sometimes I'm gonna make it stuck, but nothing like me. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. Um, I did add some lights to my backdrop. They're really easy lights. You can get them. They're just like little string lights, um, 60 LED lights. And they're made actually with little tiny wires. So all you see is the actual lights. And I just twined it together and got some more clips, which are these clips right here, which you can also get from the 99 cents uh, from the Dollar Tree. They're bigger. So I would suggest, you know, trying those out too if you want to hang some lights from them, but it's battery operated, so you can definitely just turn them off easily. And I do have some other lights behind it, which are just like the string lights that are also battery operated from the Dollar Tree. They're really short, so I don't have them all over. But that's just another idea if you want to do that with your backdrop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very long tutorial of how I do my backdrops. Um, if you're wondering about um, it, like, you know like gapping not pulling tight I actually have when I when it's behind me my dresser is behind me so I bought this little adhesive hook and what I do is I just take like um, a, a wire and I pull it so that way it lies it pulls tight and there's no like gaps or bunches so if you have it somewhere where there's a wall on the opposite side or if not the walls like across the room or whatever just get like one of those little adhesive hooks but that's about it you guys I'll leave all the information below for all the stuff that I use I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up share with all your social media don't mind the way that I look because now I'm about to do a makeup video or uh, maybe not because I'm really hot it's like after four o'clock and yeah I don't really know so I'll let you guys know in the next video bye